Hello YouTubers and welcome back to another action figure review. Today I'm looking at the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Wave 2 Gamora action figure. Now, right off the bat, this figure is amazing. It's a vast improvement from the 2014 version of Gamora. And I will get into the reasons why now. First we'll go through the articulation, so if I get the accessories out of the way. The head can move side to side. It can probably do a 360, but it's hindered by the hair. The arms are ball jointed, so they can go out. There is elbow articulation, is on a ball joint. Wrists can go around and they can move back and forth. There's nab crunch. Legs can go out and out to the side. Double jointed knees. The feet can twist and go forward and back. So that's it for the articulations. Let's take a look at the detail. And as you can see by the head sculpt, it's really, really good. The likeness of Zoe Saldana is spot on. It looks just like her. You can see all the little details on her face, including all like the cybernetics and stuff. This is a vast improvement from the original because it was literally just green paint. The hair is really well done. Again, it's a lot better than the original. The hair is painted really well, the way it fades in from the pink to the black. It's really well done. I do think this is one of the best female likenesses we've got for a movie figure of the Marvel Legends. Moving down to the torso, uh, she's got this brown jacket which is sculpted really nicely and it has lots of detail. Lots of creases as well. Her hands have these metal pieces sculpted onto them as well as some rings. She has a holster which is sculpted really nicely. It's not removable but it's for where the sword goes in. It can go in like so and it stays in there, doesn't fall out. It's a really nice snug fit. The brown jacket has a blue lining on the inside. Her boots are sculpted really nicely as well. Lots of detail, but just painted black, plain black. Comparing the new one to the old 2014 version, it's far superior. Firstly, I just got to point out that the balance is so much better. The new Gamora doesn't hardly fall over at all, whereas the old one falls over all the time. So that's an improvement. As you can see, the head sculpt is just... The new one is great. It looks just like Zoe Zaldana, but the old one... Um, it kind of looks like her from angles, but it's not that great. The paint detail as well, as the new one has the cybernetics painted in silver, and it has more detail to them, whereas the old one was literally just dark green lines painted on. The hair looks a lot better on the new one. It, just the sculpt and the paint, it looks far better than the old one. I really do prefer the outfit on the new one as well to the old one. As you can see, the holster for the sword on the new one it's sculpted on really nicely and it's it's not loose or anything and it won't fall off whereas in the old one it's quite loose and um, it moves around a lot it doesn't really stay in place and it doesn't hold the sword as well as the new one does then from the legs down the legs on the new one look a lot better as well especially the boots and the feet the feet on the old one just look a bit odd they're sculpted better on the new one because um, it makes the figure stand up a lot better accessory wise the new one comes with a lot more accessories she comes with a sword the old 2014 version only came with a sword, but um, they are a new sculpt, and this one has a lot more detail than the old one does. For comparison, as you can see, the one on the top is the new one, and the one, the old one is the bottom. You can see the detail difference between the two. The old one is bigger. The new one feels like it's uh, more size accurate. The old one just felt too big, and it didn't really work with the figure, especially with the balance issue. With the massive sword, it just it, it topped over every time you tried to pose her with it. She also come with the, uh, the sword closed, which the old one didn't come with this version. This is nice for putting in her holster if you want to display her with a, another accessory like the gun. It means that she can have the sword on her but closed. As you can see, it's a different sculpt to the past two. And her final accessory is this gun she uses at the start of the film when fighting the Apolisk. This is really nice, it has lots of nice detail to it. And it, it's nice that Gamora comes with a range of accessories as well that she uses throughout the film. 
so it means you've got lots of uh, display options. It's a really nice accessory, this one. As you can see, she holds the gun quite well, which gives you a lot more display options with this figure. And thanks to the balance being fixed, it means she can hold big weapons like this without falling over. So that's it for this review. I'm really, really pleased with this figure. I'm so glad we finally have a, a good figure of Gamora from the MCU in the Marvel Legends line. I mean, the old one was decent, but it just it, it felt so flimsy. It kept falling over. You couldn't display her properly without balancing against something. She couldn't really hold the accessories. Uh, the likeness wasn't that great, and it just felt a bit naff. But um, this new one, it's just, it's perfect. It's the definitive action figure for Gamora in the films. I love the outfit. It's a lot better than the old one. It has lots of details. And I like the fact that she comes with um, the sword open and closed. And she can be displayed with any of the accessories without falling over. She can hold them well. So yeah, this, this figure gets a big thumbs up from me. I'm really pleased with it. And I highly recommend it. And as you can see, she looks really nice next to the Star-Lord figure from this series as well. So thanks for watching this review, guys, and I'll see you in my next one, where I'll be taking a look at Rocket Raccoon and Baby Groot from the series. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.